For a significant amount of time, attaining needed information from public sectors or public institutions have proven difficult or even sometimes impossible. This was before the Act 989 was passed in Ghana in 2019, that is, the Right to Information Law. In a seminar held on the campus of African University College of Communications on the 22nd of November 2023, Stephen Owusu, the Right to Information Commissioner, explained to the students everything they needed to know about the law. In a democracy, the right to information is the cornerstone, he said. It empowers citizens, fosters transparency, and holds those in power accountable. Ghana recognizes the importance of this right, leading to the enactment of the right to information law. So, what is the right to information law? According to him, it first grants citizens the right to access information held by the public institutions ensuring a free flow of information. Citizens can request information from public institutions, placing the power of knowledge in their hands. Again, Ghana's journey to the point involved a robust democratic process, with the right to information law being debated and refined over the years. According to him, the law passed through rigorous parliamentary sessions, reflecting the commitment to democratic principles and transparency. As he delved into the benefits of the right to information law, he firstly explained that it empowers citizens to make informed decisions by providing them access to essential information. He also explained that it enhances the accountability of public institutions, ensuring that they cooperate transparently and efficiently. He also went on to say the right to information law also supports careers such as investigative journalism, enabling journalists to uncover hidden truths and hold power accountable. Going on, he explained that it serves as a potent tool in the fight against corruption, as transparency is the antidote to malfeasance. After several questions asked by the student on how they can exercise their right to information, Mr. Stephen Owusu explained the procedures in attaining information using the RTI law. He said it is a straightforward process. You can submit a written request to the public institution holding the information you seek. He urged them to remember to provide specific details about the information they are seeking to facilitate a swift response. He explained to them that depending on the urgency of the information you need and the reason behind it, the information could be provided to you in as early as 48 hours. He also mentioned certain hindrances that people can face when attaining information using the right to information law. He mentioned that children under the age of 18 cannot attain information themselves but also get access to information through their guardians or parents. He said all information can be attained through a simple means of writing. He said, since its implementation, the right to information law has been a catalyst for positive change in Ghana. Numerous success stories have emerged, showcasing how citizens have used this law to bring about positive transformation in their communities. In conclusion, the right to information law in Ghana is not just a legal provision. It is a powerful instrument for citizens to actively participate in governance and shape the future for their nation. Jason Obinko reporting for the Express Gazette.